Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Fox and Miles. What is it? Fox and Miles Adventures? The Adventures. So, yeah, <laughs> the Adventures of Fox and Miles. I'm still learning the name. So this is Darla. Yay! Darla. This is Darla. Say hi, Darla. She says hey. Yep. So hey y'all. This is our RV, Darla. So we're talking about our solar hookup today. So I think I'm just going to show you guys what we, how we got this thing set up. The red dot's happening. I should cut my nose hairs. But that's okay. <laughs> All right, so we are now on top of Darla, and um, I'm gonna show you guys how we have our solar panel solar panels hooked up. So we got six. Uh, what are they? 100 watt? I think six 100 watt solar panels um, from Renergy, correct? From Renergy, and so we have them hooked up in series right now. So that means, um, if you see my hand, yeah. That means we have one, two, three, four, five, six. They're con connected one to one another. It's just like a, a train or a process. So when they get the power from the sun, because it's solar power, you can't see the sun, it's cloudy right now. But each individual panel works together to give us um, our total wattage of 600 watt. Uh, it might be a little less than that because there's some loss in the process of transferring it and converting it. Um, but we'll show you that on the inside. But yes, our six panels here on top of Darla. And then over here is where the line goes into the RV. And we'll show you what that is on the inside. So it's just one this black line that goes in. So this is out, this is coming around, and then it goes in down over here through a hole. Um, a hole that was already installed in the RV, we just had to add our solar power to it because there's another smaller solar panel that come with that came with the RV that we um, we use that space to add our own. So yeah, this is the solar power on top of Darla. Fox, she asked, um, why did we do this in series instead of parallel? So we did it in series because when they're operating in parallel, if one panel isn't getting sunlight, that whole set that it's running parallel together doesn't produce any energy. For example, if we were parked under a tree and one half of the panels was covered in shade, that would, if they were running in parallel, it would disable it from receiving. The whole thing, the whole thing would be messed up, more or less, and we wouldn't be receiving solar power. But if it's running in series, they operate individually. So if one or two of them are covered in, um, in shade or in the shade area, the other four will continue to receive power. And, or receive sunlight and converting that to, to power. So that's why we chose to do it in series instead of parallel. So how do you connect in parallel and in series? How did we like connect the positive to negatives to one another? I don't know. Um, <laughs> um, so to put it in series, we just put positive to negative. So you have, we'll start with this panel. So I uh, shouldn't have done that. Anyways, <laughs> so we'll start with this, this panel. So it has a positive and it has a negative. Right, so we connected the positive from this one to the negative of another one, and then the negative of this one to the positive of the other one. So it goes in a sequence negative to positive, negative to positive, so on and so forth. If we wanted to do it in parallel, they would be positive to positive, they would be connected together. So you would have, um, let's say, one big. yeah, one big thing. So it would be all three of these would act like one large panel instead of three individual panels. So it would be connected together, connected together, connected together, like that. Negative, negative, positive, positive. And then they would attach to these over here on this side. So it would, ha it would act like two large big panels instead of six individual panels. And so we wanted to make sure that it was six individual panels so that, like I gave the example about being in the shade, um, that if it was in the shade, we would still be able to keep our batteries charged without um, losing anything. So that's our solar setup. Yay! Yay! We'll probably do another video on our battery setup. Yeah, and so and thanks to the YouTube, the, the YouTubes for uh, all the help. Oh we, yeah. We got a lot of help in trying to figure this out yeah. um, on our own and, and on our own, and uh, a lot of videos. We watched a lot of videos. We read a lot of articles. Yes, and there are a lot of resources online. So. Um, if you have any other questions or if anything I said didn't make any sense, we can put links to stuff that helped us out. Uh, but yeah, 
thank you YouTubers and other RVers who share have had, have had shared. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. I'm a little tongue-tied right now, but thank you. Yay. Yay.